Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I'm gonna show you guys some really cool tips and tricks on how to make your new CSGO demos look awesome. If you're looking to record some of your CSGO demos for highlight clips or for whatever you're trying to record, these commands will make your demos look extremely cool and unique and stand out amongst any other videos on YouTube. Also guys, real fast too, only about 2.2% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. It would mean a lot and really help me out. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Now, I'm just quickly jumping into one of my random demos here. I don't know if it's a good demo or not. It's just a random one I have downloaded. But basically, to start off, basically, you want to find the person you want to take highlights from. This is going to be my player, for example. And then you're going to want to open up your console and type in demo UI. Hit enter to execute this, and it's going to bring up this little UI here. Click pause, first of all, to pause the match, because we don't want this going in the background as we're trying to type out all these commands. Keep in mind, all the commands we're going to be using today will be linked in the description below. But the first thing we're going to do from here before we go anywhere else is type in S v underscore cheats one just like that and hit enter to execute it now as you guys can just see from this little angle here alone there's a lot of unwanted fog and random kind of just blurriness on the map because of this fog and these next couple of commands are going to help us remove it again these commands will be in the description so you guys can just simply copy and paste them like i am going to here and the first one we're going to take a look at is matt underscore post process underscore enable zero hit enter to execute that and you guys can already see some of this fog has already cleared up the next command we're going to take a look at here is fog underscore enable zero Zero, hit enter to execute it again that one didn't do much of a difference and the last one is going to be fog underscore override one hit enter to execute that and that one also didn't make much of a difference but as you guys can already see a little bit of that fog has been cleared up and a little bit of that post processing has also been cleared up and it just looks a lot cleaner now now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove everything on our hud except for the death notices in our crosshair and to do this you're going to want to copy and paste the command seal underscore draw underscore only underscore death notices one hit enter to execute this and if we exit out of our console we're gonna see only our crosshair show up and as soon as someone gets a kill on this demo it will also show up in the top right hand corner as it normally would now this is already looking a lot better for our demo now the next thing we're gonna do to make this look a lot cooler in my opinion is we're gonna expand the fov we're gonna make the fov wider because we do have the ability to finally do that in a demo replay to do this open your console back up and copy and paste this command fov underscore cs underscore debug 120 now keep in mind 120 is going to be the amount it's basically going to increase your fov if we execute this command you guys can see my fov is extremely wide and some people might not like this extremeness so basically what you guys can do is you can come back in here recopy and paste the command and change the number value i like normally using about 107 value in my demos and if we click enter you're going to see it still gives it the wide angle look but it's not super extreme now the next thing i want to do here is look at that sky all you see see there is just a blue color and it doesn't really look that intriguing especially if you're recording a demo and making an edit out of it if you didn't see one of my videos from the past week or so i made a video showing you guys how exactly you can change your sky and there is a lot of different ways you can do this and there are also a lot of different patterns you can replace with your sky just in csgo alone now i'm not going to go through and explain all of them here in fact we're just going to use one specific sky called vertigo so if you guys do want to look at other sky possibilities you could put into your game do check out that video i'll have it linked down in the description and a card popping up and the top right hand corner but with that said go ahead and open up your console once again and copy and paste this command sv underscore sky name space vertigo and hit enter to execute it now you guys can see our sky has completely turned to almost like a dark stormy color look and now some people might not look this again this is what i'm going to use today just for today's video example but basically it's going to add a very dark stormy look to the game if we resume this demo as my player model moves around here you guys are going to see that not only is the game looking a lot cooler from all the other commands look how amazing that sky looks now it gives mirage an entirely new feeling like look at how cool the sky looks it gives a way more dramatic look and feeling to the overall mirage map and it just looks so much better now right here we could literally start recording this and have it be the perfect demo and do some more color manipulation and post processing but there is one last thing we should probably remove before starting to actually record a play and that is my net graph that is showing up right now on screen and if you do have this enabled all you have to do to remove this is again go back into your console type in net underscore graph space zero and this will completely remove it and now we have a super super clean looking demo from here now we can simply resume it 
exit out of the demo UI, and now you can officially start recording on whatever software you would normally record on. Now, unfortunately, if you guys do want to manipulate the color, make the color look more saturated or vibrant, or maybe even change the hue of some of the colors in game, there really is no way to do this, especially now that CSGO has removed the ability to do this through third party apps like Nvidia GeForce, but this is very easily done in video editing apps like Premiere Pro. I'm not going to expand this tutorial into how to color grade and do all this work in post production considering it will take a very long time and it is kind of complicated even if you have purchased the software already but if you guys would like to see that for another video please let me know down in the description below i would be happy to spend a video going over stuff like that but other than that as we look over my dead body here this will make your demo look so much better especially if you're recording it for plays or whatever you're doing with it and once you go into post processing you can make it look even cooler but anyway guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video if you guys did enjoy and if i did help you guys out don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new if you guys have any questions or comments or if you think i missed anything that would have worked very well on this video go ahead and comment down below i know there's some commands i didn't put in that some people might want to see so if you do think that that should have been in here for this perfect demo settings video definitely say something down in the comments below and i'll be happy to pin you up to the top so other people can take note of what you guys have to say also but with that said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace